a lot of people will be like oh when you're pregnant you're eating for two and pregnancy comes with a lot of cravings that you need to meet and all of that yes it is we all know that pregnancy comes with a lot of cravings but it is very very important for you to eat healthy and nourish your body when you are pregnant because at this point you are catering for yourself and the baby as well meaning you have to give up some certain food or fruits for that period of time now let's talk about those foods that you need to avoid when you are pregnant i made this video on tiktok and a lot of people have different opinions about it so i'm bringing it here on youtube let's talk about those foods that you need to avoid when you are pregnant hello everyone my name is blessing and you're welcome to my youtube channel on this channel i talk everything about health and if this is something you like to watch Please do consider to subscribe as you will enjoy this channel. I've got a lot of videos on my channel that talks about a lot of things about pregnancy and other parts of the body. The number one on my list is undercooked or raw fish. Undercooked or raw fish, especially shellfish, contains some parasites like salmonella and norovirus. This type of fish, during the time of handling, you know, storing and even processing, it might get infected. And because of this, it can affect you when you eat this by, you know, making you to for me to have it on diarrhea and because of this it can make either you or your baby to come up with dehydration and when you have dehydration you might be having weakness and some of these bacteria can actually cross the placenta to the baby risking you to have a preterm labor or stillbirth so you need to avoid this type of fish and as well fishes that has high level of mercury honestly i would just say that you see all these seafoods, all these sushi, all this raw whatever or not, just try to avoid it during your pregnancy because this can actually affect you or the baby. And you know, anything that you know can affect your baby at this point, you should avoid it because I'm sure what you want is a healthy baby and also to have a safe delivery. This particular one that I'm about to say is the most controversial of all the foods that I listed, which is pineapple. Please let me know in the comment section if you have had anything related to pineapple. Maybe you had it during your pregnancy and something happened or not. I want to know. Please let me know in the comment section. Because some people be like, oh, I had it throughout my pregnancy. Nothing happened. Why some people say they had it and they actually had like bleeding and they almost lost the pregnancy. Even though pineapple is rich in vitamin C, it is rich in antioxidants. But because of a particular enzyme known as bromelin, People have said that this bromelin can actually risk you to having miscarriage. Regardless of the nutritional value or whatever it might be given, I would advise whatever that it has been found or said that it might affect your pregnancy. I don't think there's anything too big for you to sacrifice for the period of nine months having your healthy baby as compared to you risking having you know other complications like miscarriage and unripe papaya i know some people like purple yeah but purple has been found that there's something in purple that has a laxative effect that can lead to miscarriage or you know making you to have preterm labor it has also been found to have like papain which the body can see as a prostaglandin prostaglandin is just part of those hormones in the body and this prostaglandin can induce labor and i'm sure nobody wants to you know be having contraction when they are not yet due everybody wants to carry their baby to town that leads me to the next point which is alcohol we all know alcohol is not a good thing generally but when it comes to your baby now alcohol can negatively impact the development of your baby's brain and that is why you should avoid it because it can also risk you to have a miscarriage and also stillbirth it can even cause your baby to have low birth weight when you consume alcohol during pregnancy so please avoid taking alcohol another food you should avoid is organ meats like liver like kidney although it has a lot of nutrients like you know like vitamin a like vitamin b12 if you consume this too much especially during your first trimester it can cause your baby to have congenital malformation this is just like those things that happen before you give birth to your baby and this is because it contains high level of vitamin a that is retinol so it contains high level of this retinol which like i said can risk you to losing your pregnancy and also it can cause your baby to have congenital malformation so it is better to avoid Avoid this type of things and just so you know you need to avoid other things that is made of these things like cold liver oil supplements and all other supplement that is made from liver even if you want to take any of this please speak with your gynecologist or your midwife they know better than you they'll be able to advise you on what medication to take and what not to take during your pregnancy and herbs please avoid herbs especially the ones made with steroid herbs is popularly known as abu so don't use a good in your pregnancy. 
herbs is not even something you should be taking because you don't know what it is made of you can't measure the dosage you are taking you can't measure the amount the volume you are just taking it like that please don't take herbs while you are pregnant because when you take these things you don't know what effect is going to have either on you or your baby like i said you are eating for two it is not just you at this point there's someone inside you another food you should avoid is raw eggs before you say mm, yes raw egg you might be thinking that who is going to be eating raw eggs sometimes some foods contains raw eggs like mayonnaise ice cream and even lightly scrambled eggs even fura you should not eat raw eggs because it contains a bacteria known as salmonella this salmonella can cause you to have cramps in your uterus and potentially lead to preterm birth or still birth egg is good for you during pregnancy honestly i can remember when i was in school then they used to teach us this one it simply means that they are telling pregnant women to eat beans vegetable eggs and beans but make sure it is fully cooked if you want to fry it make sure it is fried totally and not so this slightly scrambled egg or whatnot no make sure it is fully cooked or it is fried totally before you eat it another food you should minimize or avoid is caffeine and this is because researchers have said that caffeine can cause the blood vessels in the uterus or in the placenta to narrow like to be tighter and when this happens, it means blood supply to your baby will be reduced and when there is reduction of blood supply to your baby it can affect the growth of your baby it can even risk you to lose the pregnancy so please before you take anything that has caffeine in it i will always refer you back to your gynecologist or your midwife don't assume that the fact that so so person took this and nothing happened to her nothing will happen to you women differs i always say this your body is different from any other woman's body another thing you should avoid is aloe vera aloe vera because it contains anthraquinones and this anthraquinones has been found to contain projectives that's it it can also be used as a laxative it can increase the chances of uterine contraction if you take this during your pregnancy it can also cause you to have hypoglycemia that is low blood sugar and because of this you can experience something like light-headedness like dizziness and so many other symptoms and even sweating excessively another thing you should reduce or avoid eating is pepper soup just because you don't know what pepper soup is made of you don't know what those seasonings you need to avoid it because it can make the womb to contract and because of this it can risk you to having preterm birth and to think about it i heard that some women have pepper soup after birth in order to help their uterus to contract so they can expel blood clots that is left in their uterus after childbirth so you see that it is not something you should take when you still have your baby in inside you so please don't take pepper soup or minimize it or even if you want to take it like i said always speak to your gynecologist because you don't know what might be affecting you or what might affect your baby so please avoid pepper soup during your pregnancy although there are a lot of foods you should avoid during your pregnancy there are a lot of things you should not eat or you should not do while you are pregnant but these are the few points i have for you today if you are pregnant i wish you successful pregnancy and safe delivery of your baby and don't forget to call me to come and eat some rice you know when you want to do your naming ceremony and if you are watching me and you have had you know anything different from what i have listed and you have reacted to it please leave it in the comment section so we can learn we potential mothers can learn and also other women can learn as well so if you have anything that you have experienced during your own pregnancy maybe you've had a particular food and you reacted to it please leave it in the comment section so we can discuss about it and thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you in my next video please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video to as many women as you know